today and today I'm here with my most anticipated reads for September 2018. I have a total of five books that I chose to include on this list. Tried to pick the less known popular books. I tried to pick less popular books because who wants to hear about the same popular books on every single channel. I will admit though that there are two that are pretty popular and then two are from authors that I really like so they needed to be included on this list. Sorry, not sorry. And then one is lesser known. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first one on my list is probably pretty popular. It is The Caged Queen by Kristen Cicerelli. This is to be released on September 25th, 2018, but this is the companion novel to The Last Name of Sara, which I read very recently and I am in love with, so obviously I needed to include it on this list. I'm not going to give a synopsis since it is the sequel, but read The Last Name of Sara, that's all I'm going to say. The next book that I have on the list is called Sadie and this is by Courtney Summers. This is the more popular one. This is supposed to be released on September 4th, 2018. It follows a girl named Sadie who, after the police investigation of her sister's death, comes up inconclusive. She decides to take matters into her own hands and get revenge on her sister's killer. I've heard great things about this from the people who have read it already, and also I've just heard that Courtney Summers is a great author. I've never actually read one of her books, but I own a couple of them, so I should probably get to it. But I just think the whole concept sounds right up my alley, so I'm very excited about that one. The the next book I have I'm very excited about only because of who the author is. The book is When the Lights Go Out by Mary Kubica and this is supposed to be released on September 4th, 2018. This book follows Jessie Sloan who has been taking care of her mother for a very long time. Her mother ends up passing away and that's when she decides that she's going to apply for university. Upon applying for university, the registrar's office lets her know that her SID number actually lets off a red flag. So as the police investigation behind this starts to unfold. Jessie is sleeping less and less, she has insomnia, and that's when she starts hallucinating and she can't tell what's real from what's fake anymore. Meanwhile, 20 years earlier and over 250 miles away, a different woman split second decision may be the key to Jessie's secret past. So like I said, this is solely based off of who the author is. I've read a couple of Mary Kubica's books and I've really enjoyed them, so I'm interested to pick up more of her work and therefore I'm excited for this book. The next book I have, I'm again excited because of who the author is, but it is called People Kill People by Ellen Hopkins and this is to be released on September 4th, 2018. This book is about gun violence and white supremacy and it follows six different people who are brought together after a shooting occurs. That's all I really know about it. That's all I want to know about it. I like going into Ellen Hopkins books blind. I find them more interesting that way. So I'm very excited for this solely because Ellen Hopkins. And then the final book that I'm very excited about because it just sounds right up my alley again and it is called I Know You Know by Jilly McMillan and this is supposed to be released on September 18th, 2018. 20 years ago, 11 year old Charlie and Scott were murdered. A man has already been convicted of the crime, but their childhood best friend Cody Swift is convinced that this is not the man behind the murderers and he decides that, that he is going to go back to Bristol and figure out what actually happened. He decides that he's going to start a podcast to track his progress with the investigation and then he realizes that a lot of people don't want the investigation open again. One of these people includes Charlie's mother who happens to want to take matters into her own hands and that is when another body is discovered in the exact same place where Charlie and Scott's body were found 20 years earlier. Like I said, it sounds right up my alley, thriller, I'm into it, I'm very excited for this and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Alright guys, so those were the five books that I'm super excited for this month. I know they're actually more on the popular side than what I usually talk about, but I mean... They all sound really good, so I'm sorry that I'm not sorry about it. Let me know down below what books you guys are excited for, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!